thing and, and getting the city into the 21st century on new technologies that help us do our job better, smarter, faster, continuing to move forward on the public schools, which I have two children in the Boston public schools, soon to be a third. So I don't just talk the talk, I walk the walk. And things of kind of carrying this mantle forward with real vision. Well, one of the things you also want to see in a Consalvo mayoralty is a casino in East Boston. Is that correct? I do support the casino. Dan Conley, uh, one of your opponents, Suffolk County DA, wants a citywide vote to confirm Suffolk as a choice. Mm. You want it to be the East Boston neighborhood. Why is he wrong? So first of all, we've already had the vote. The legislature decided casinos were legal. This isn't a re-vote on the morality of casinos. Well, actually, but part of the legislature, the law says that the local community as it relates has to, a re As it relates to the siting of the actual mm. physical structure. So the issue is twofold. One, we don't govern zoning and development projects by citywide votes, no matter what their impact is. For example, we don't vote on the impact of institutional expansion from Harvard, BC, and Northeastern, which has a huge impact on the city and its resources and its land. But most importantly, the issue is, for me, this, the moral flaw in the law. What if the people of East Boston vote no and the rest of the city votes yes? They're forced to take a casino if the they opposite? don't want it. How about the people of East Boston vote yes? But the rest of the city doesn't want to deal with all and, the and costs a, that are attendant to having a casino in terms of crime and but I would say two, I would say two things, come with it. two things to that. First yeah. off, again, even if they say yes and the city said no, mm -hmm. they should be able to determine what they want in their own backyard. That would be a shame, too. But I want to make one other point. Sure. The, the issues of cost are more than addressed in the legislation in two areas. Property tax revenue that the city will get in mm -hmm. terms of uh, pro new property taxes, buildings on our land, and the host mitigation agreement. The, they were put into the legislation. The host mitigation agreement is the revenue source that offsets the cost. This is a money maker, speaking, not a money loser. Speaking of neighborhoods, individual neighborhoods, I've asked this to all the mayoral candidates, a variation on uh, this. The outpouring of support for uh, victims and survivors, what happened in and around Boylston Street is historic, and I think it makes everybody feel good. But there are mothers living a couple of miles away in Roxbury, Dorchester, Mount Penn. They lost somebody they loved to violence. They're sitting there saying, do I have enough money to bury my kid? Do I have enough money to move to a safer apartment where the rest of my family can live and not worry about violence? What obligation do leaders like a Tom Menino, like a Deval Patrick, like a Mayor Rob Consalvo have to urge the public to support their needs as well. They, well. A lot of them think they're being terrorized as well. No, it's a great question. I think, so obviously it's certainly appropriate that we give resources to the victims of the bombing. That was an awful tragedy. No, I haven't and heard one it. person differ um, that. But I also think that as mayor in the Consalvo administration, I'm gonna have a laser-like focus on investing in the neighborhoods that are affected by gun violence and the families. And that means early intervention in the homes to keep kids away from gangs and drugs and violence. It means really investing in proven strategies on drug addiction, where a lot of the gun violence is fueled as the drugs getting treatment, early education, intervention, and getting kids away from drugs. And it's also about providing opportunity and hope in those neighborhoods. So that means investing in job opportunity, economic growth, city services, you know, the broken windows theory of parks and playgrounds Understood. and streets and sidewalks. We need to continue as mayor to make sure we're investing in the areas hardest hit by gun violence. And I We will. only have a half minute left. Have you seen uh, David Bernstein's Boston mayoral power ranking in which you came in? Now? His prediction is you're the next mayor. He's he a says brilliant you're the guy. most Menino-esque. Uh, <laughs> Has any arrangement been made or discussed between anybody on your side and anybody on Tom Menino's nope. side to give you support, even if it's not a public endorsement? You've known him your whole life. I do, yeah. He's friendly with your parents. There's He's never a been friend. a discussion between anybody from your camp and any. Why are you smiling ne at me like never that? Never once. Never once. Because the question comes up over and over have and over again. Have you asked him for support? I've asked everybody for their support. Have you asked Tom Menino I have. for What has yeah. he said to you? He's not getting involved in the race. Okay. He's not taking a position. Rob, we hope we see you a lot in the next coming Thank months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Rob Consalvo, City Council and candidate for mayor.